Hi all, uh, I am Vinod K, lecturer in Electronics, Government Polytechnic College, Trikripur. Today we are going to learn about the memory organization of at AVR or Admega 32. So in an AVR basically there are three types of memory as you can see flash memory, data memory and EEPROM memory. Flash memory is nothing but used for storing program. So it's also known as program memory. In Admega 32, the flash memory is of 32 KB and data memory are of different types, different categories inside it. SRAM is of 2 KB and EEPROM is of 1 KB. Okay. Then let us go to what is a flash memory. Basically, flash memory as I told you is used for storing program. The last digits of the name, for example, at mega 32, the 30, the number 32 stands for, it has got 32 KB of flash memory. So this flash memory itself is, has classified into two sections. One is application sections where the user can use this section. And there is some section known as the bootloader sections where we cannot use that. That is for the booting purpose of the microcontroller. The size is 32 KB as I told you, but the address is only 16 K because each address location is of 16 bit, that is 2 byte. Okay, so 16 into 16 byte that is 32 KB. So the address will be only 16 K. Therefore, the program counter need only 14 bits to address this 16 K. This flash memory is organized in different manner as it can be seen from the image below that the 32k into 8 bytes that is, that is that is so you have in every microcontroller like 8051 the memory organization in byte ways but here the flash memory is in word wise that is 2 bytes 16 bits that is why we have only 16k into 16 bytes. So the flash memory is having 16 bits as the smallest unit which can be addressed via 0 through 16k that is 16383. This much memory location is there in program memory. So PC need only this 14 bits as the highest, highest memory location. Okay. This is something that I told you application section and bootloader section. Now regarding the SRAM section or the data memory part. The data memory part is actually 2144 bytes. Here it is byte ways. Program in program memory, here it is 16 bits. But in data memory, here it is 8 bits. Everything is byte ways. So there are it is 2 KB. It is 2 KB in size. That is data memory is of 2 KB in size. And inside this data memory, we have different parts. We have to start with we have 32 bits, 32 bytes of DPR, general purpose register is R0, R1, R2, R3 up to R31. There are 32 general purpose registers. Then we have got IO space. We have got IO space, 64 bytes of IO space, 32 bytes of G GPR and 64 bytes of IO space. And the remaining section, the below one is 2 MB, 2 sorry, it is 2 KB, it is not 2 MB, the image of 2048 byte is 2 KB, 2 KB of SRAM, okay. So if you take the address, address is 0 to 31, then that is 32 numbers, 32 to 95, that is 64 bytes, then after 64, it is 00, uh, 96 is 60, accessible 60, it goes to 85F, that is hexadecimal 2048. Okay, so these are the address. So 32 in number of each of them that is regarding the GPR and the last GPR that is the last six register is uh, that is 26 to 31. They are known as XL, XH, YL, YH, Y, ZL and ZH. There are special functions, used for special functions. Okay, these registers are just like that you have seen in 8051 microcontroller. They are R0 to R7. There are 8 general purpose registers. Here there are 32 general purpose registers. Okay. And these are used for storing variables and other data. Okay. Then we have got IO space. It's a collection of 64 registers. 
each register having totally different names according to their purpose and these IO purpose IO space registers have to got their own name port numbers port A port B then DDRA you can say DDRA DDRB a lot of DDRs are there then pin numbers then we have got timer registers all every all these special function registers comes under this IO space that is of 64 byte one thing is note that these registers are called usually by their names and not by their address. For example, IO is not equal number 0061 or 0062. Sorry, 0020 5F area. They are not named as 2021 like that. They are named as DDRA, DDRB, whatever their name is. Okay. Now SRAM. Below that SRAM. We have above data memory the memory program memory and data memory. The program memory is flash. The flash is the end part. That is bootable part and this user friendly that is programmable part. Then we have got data memory. Data memory is the end GPR that is general purpose register then flash then SRAM. And SRAM is a volatile memory for, of temporary storage which is actually main, 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 main memory of the MCU. The MCU is the microcontroller unit and the main memory at work in SRAM. Random access memory and the program store in the flash and ROM learn. Flash which are ROM and ROM 32 byte KB ROM. Other than the data part, data in the normal number for example, move a comma 32 in the corner and 32 in the data part, data part is saving the cell on SRA. Okay, a SRA or tail and program rename is executed in the summary, summary to mother may SRA will contain and down. So ROM and a tangle, ROM and a poor content and down. I know what it is. Okay, volatile memory of temporary storage, which is actually the main memory of the MCU. So here we have started consider admega 32 ni ana parayam. Admega admega 32 ni kaariyam orak kani parayam. Bini anta ni 32 KB um 2 2 KB of SRAM mukke parayam. Ni ato. Ab oru oru ABR ni different different size sandal. So admega 32 ni kaise ana kili we have 2 KB of SRAM, which means 2048 cells of 8 bit each. That is the same thing. 2048. Address start from 0060 to 085F. That is 2KB. Okay. Then we have got other special function registers. That is program counters, status register, all these come under special function. It's a farm. Special function registers. So this is the architecture that I have already told you. Here we can see program flash memory here. Here, here is the RAM, SRAM. And other than SRAM, we have got EEPROM. That is for the permanent storage of data. The offer can of data and down. Chilla program and down. Data and data and down. They are saving EEPROM. Okay. Then, uh, this is the GPR. We have 32 GPS. These are all R0 to R31. These are the address. This is the address which is the program. These address are never used in the program. We have already used uh, everybody, uh, everywhere we use R1, R2, R3 like that. Okay. Then XYZ register. Here, they are in word size. That is 16 bit and the lower byte and higher byte. XL, X lower, Y. X, XH means higher. R, R26, R27. Pair on. Okay. So, regarding uh, data memory, uh, registers, uh, IA memory, then we have extended IA memory in some microcontroller. We have got extended IA memory. Okay. Then we have internal SRAM and some have external, extra, extra, external RAM also. Okay. So, three carrying uh, on memory organization of ABR. Three carrying on the same part of the data row memory, 32 GPR, IO registers, additional IO registers in the microcontroller. Internal RAM and the external RAM. These additional IO registers and external RAM are different uh, microcontroller dependent on the microcontroller. The microcontroller is not the same. Okay, Baki flash, GPR, RAM, EPROM, okay, a Okay, now we slide on the Lado Odichapoga, number slide already and uploaded it under. Okay, so then you mark the data memory. Okay, 
so this this is the these are this these things that you have to uh, by we have discussed in uh, memory organization of avr okay thank you if you have any doubt you can ask me at any time